Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today is the day that I'm going to show you how to make those bows that people have asked how do I make those and they're the bows that don't use any glue except for the hot glue to put them together but you fold it's folding and I will show you how to do that but first of all I brought my magic mirror in because a few of you have mentioned that you wanted me to use the magic mirror. So, oh, oh my goodness, I see people. I really do. Jim, I see somebody in there. Oh, yeah? I do. I really do. I have to hold it so I can see it. Because <laughs> otherwise it makes it very hard. I see. Oh, let me look. Oh my goodness, I see Paula Elliott. Hello, Paula. It's so nice to see you. And, oh my goodness, there's a birthday girl in there. She's got, it's a few more days yet before her birthday. Bella, is that you? My goodness, it's going to be your birthday pretty soon. Happy birthday to you, sweetie. I hope you remind me when it's your birthday, the actual day, so I can sing happy birthday to you then. And I see Jane. Jane is always there. Jane, how are you? I, I really enjoy our, our little chats that we have. And guess who else is in that camera? He he didn't get called on romper room, and neither did I. Mm, I never, never did either. I know it's so sad. They they used everybody's name but didn't us. But Mr. G, you're out there. I see you. And I have to check in again with Sharon Davis. Hello, Sharon. I told you in oh I think it was July around July first. Of last year I said I was going to check back with you well I'm checking back with you I hope you've been eating better and I hope that you're all better from that accident that you had um, I've been thinking about you and I hope your iron is high and you're either taking um, iron pills or eating that meat I know I don't like the meat either but you know we have to eat it I think I remember telling you when I was uh, about the meat, I didn't like it, and I used to bury it in my potatoes. Well, I don't have potatoes anymore, but I'm learning to eat the meat a lot better. And um, my dad had given me vitamins because you know, I had lost my appetite to totally, so he put me on the B vitamins, the B1 and B2. I think I told you all of this a long, oh, such a long time ago. You probably don't even remember. But it's been a very long time. And I will be chatting with your son, Mike, soon, I'm sure. I usually do. I like his videos, but sometimes he gets so technical that I, I don't understand a lot of it. But I do like listening to it. And sometimes I have to listen to it twice to really catch what he's saying. Because he is. He's a very wise, smart person. My goodness. Have any of you watched Carnal Mad? That's what I'm talking about. He's very bright. He talks about a lot of subjects that have to do with um, being a carnivore and um, one meal a day kind of thing, eating a lot of meat and how he does it. And he also has a lot of other things that he brings in there that he knows a lot of people that are um, have done studies and things on the ketogenic way of eating and the carnivore way of eating. Yeah, those are the people I see. I see, and there's more in there too. But I, I have to put this mirror away because you know what? This video is getting very long, and the bow thing is pretty, pretty long too. So I'll talk to you all again another time in my magic mirror. Okay, okay, that's the end of the magic mirror. I hope that I'm going to put that little video in now. Let's put it in right here. I'm going to show you how to make bows today and we can use wrapping paper and I want them to be these are four inches by four inches so what I do is I take the ruler and I have the four inch in, is about here so I'm going to flip the paper so that I can cut it I'm just going to flip it over and it increase it and this should be around approximately four inches then I take my knife and I 
we'll cut. Okay. Now with the wrapping paper, most wrapping papers are the same length. So then I take the sheet and I just fold it in half. Make it even if you can. And then fold it in. Oops. And then fold it in half again. And then fold it in half one more time. Increase your creases. Then I cut them apart. And these pieces, what I like, what I like to do, to get a, you have to get a square. So you're going to take it, and you're just going to fold it over, so that you, you're focusing on this point. You're going to fold it over and crease it, and all of this over here has to be cut away. So what I do is I just hold it and eyeball it. And of course, I use children's shears. If you know, it. okay. So that's what you're what you're looking for is a square. And so that's how you achieve a square with a with a not square piece of paper. I'm going to show you how to fold it using this is just scrap paper that came out of <laughs> Medicare for You and You book in 1970, 2017. I mean, and I just cut these pages out and I made them square. Now you now the goal is really four inches by four inches as the better size. But I'm showing you with a big sheet so that you can see what I'm doing. You're gonna fold to make a triangle and crease it. Then you're gonna take the points of the triangle and you're gonna bring them to the top. So you put that point up there and you crease it. Try to keep your sides even, and then you do the same thing on this side. Bring the point to the top and crease it. So now you have another square with peekaboo doors. Now you take these triangles that you just folded up, and there's a crease where you folded it. There is a crease line here now, so you're going to take this straight edge and you're going to fold that against there to make another odd shaped triangle and you'll do the same on the other side and you'll fold it up to that line and make another try to keep the point as pointy as you can and crease it okay now you have a thing that looks like this then you take these triangles and just fold them back into the first fold that you did. Okay. Then you, you have it looking like this. Then you bring it together. And these ears have to be the same direction. You pinch in here, kind of squeeze to open it up a little bit, and then you just take these two and you fold them over. And you've got the inside of one flower. And when you get a bunch of them together, which I've only got three of these of the big size, because I'm not going to make the big ones. I just used the big one to show you. Then you take junk mail, which I took junk mail. This was just a piece of junk mail that came in the mail. And I, I cut circles out. I just used whatever size circle you want. I used the jar. I had put it on there and I traced around it. Then I cut it out with the scissors. So you decide how big you want your circle because that's going to determine how big your bow is. Then you take your hot glue and you take one of your circles. And I put 
some glue in the middle. Then I start taking these guys and I lay them down. These are the ones that I made before. You lay them down with the fold side up. And you go as fast as you can go because the glue's gonna get hard on you. And depending on the size of your little um, flower or bow section will determine how many you need. Some bows need more than others and some need less, it depends. I never know how many I'm going to use. I just make a bunch of them. Oops, that one's wrong side up. Okay, and so then it looks like that. Now you're going to add more glue to the middle section. You're just going to plop it in there. And then you're going to put your next row, but you don't, you lay them not, you lay them not in the same spot you, you stagger them a little bit and put them in now this is out of wrapping paper that I used and I, I think I want it a little tighter so I'm going to add another one there then you decide if you want to add another row or not, which I do. So I'm going to add another row. Now I'm going to put a little more glue in the middle. Just a blob. You can use school glue, but it just takes so much longer to dry. You'd have to sit here and hold it. That's why I use the hot glue. And... And I'm done. And then, when if you really like making these, you can get really busy. This is made with just uh, butcher block paper, where the kids then just take the paint and they just kind of tipped it with, with paint. See, it looks really pretty. This is with, I think it was a magazine. It's a stiffer, stiffer paper. I like the calendars the best. The, um, the pages on a calendar work the easiest, work the nicest, but you can use wrapping paper. This is wrapping paper. So if you had a gift you wanted to give and you want it to be the same as your, your bow is same as your paper, you would just make it out of the paper. And this is Christmas paper. This has been here a while, you can tell. They've been out in my shed a little while. But anyways, this is this is what I have made. And now we can add this one to it. And it dries, they dry really fast. This is already dry. As soon as the glue is hard, it's done. So that's how you make the bows. If you feel like folding paper, it's a great thing to do. It doesn't cost anything. I even use junk mail, as you notice, to make the circle. And you can use butcher block paper. You can use, um, I used the paper from my, my um, Medicare book that came in just to, for practice. It's actually, that's a nice weight paper. You don't want to use too thin a paper because the too thin doesn't work real well. Real well. The um, wrapping paper if it's a real cheap kind, it doesn't work as good. So you want a little bit better grade of paper. You want a little bit of um, stiffness to it. Not too much, but a little bit. Well, that's it for today. I hope you all had a great day. And I will talk to you all again tomorrow. So, bye-bye.